Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on the Crypto Wealth Management channel. Uh, apologies if my voice sounds a little bit off. I've had a bit of a cold lately. Uh, you yeah, not been feeling too well, but I just had to get a, a video out on the channel. Um, thank you guys so much for the support you've been showing me again. Uh, this channel's almost been alive for a month now. We're nearing on 200 subscribers. So again, I'm really, really grateful for all of you uh, that have been supporting me. If you're new here, just a quick background on me. I am a qualified financial advisor in real life, and I have been investing in cryptocurrency since 2019. At the start, I made a lot of mistakes, didn't make a lot of money because I wasn't educated enough. Uh, however, in the last two, three years, I've managed to really increase my education, my knowledge, and therefore have seen a lot of success. I created this channel in order to help as many people as I can, uh, help increase their knowledge on crypto, any questions they have, and hopefully the overall goal, overall goal is to make people a lot of money. Um, so if that's anything you're interested in, please feel free to subscribe, get in touch with me, and I'll help out as best as I can. Today's video is focused on a new AI project, which is new to the market, which draws comparisons to BitTensor, but it's not exactly the same. Uh, so yeah, let's just dive straight into it. The project we will be discussing today is called Balance AI. The ticker is BAI. And you guys are going to have to bear with me a little bit because these kind of projects can be quite complex to explain, especially to uh, people that are new to the market. And um, they normally take about 30, 45 minutes, even up to an hour to fully explain exactly what a project is. And I just don't want to don't want to delve into that kind of detail. I'd rather just try and put it out in layman's terms for everyone. Um, so it says on the website here, Balance AI, an innovative decentralized blockchain that redefines AI agents marketplace. Um, unlock the full potential of your imagination and redefine possibilities. Welcome to a new efficiency level, the marketplace that connects AI agents. And when they say AI agents, what they're essentially referring to is a fancy term for basically computer systems. Um, just think of lots of, lot of com lots and lots of computer systems. Each computer is basically an AI agent. Um, monetize your expertise by creating AI agents and effortlessly link them to get profitable data. Uh, leverage the capabilities of our AI network to drive success for your enterprise and AI models. Um, I'm just going to quickly go through this this website and then go onto the white paper because that delves into a lot more detail. Um, yeah, their vision is to create a safe marketplace using AI, an incentivized arena in which consumers and producers can interact in a trust, open and transparent context. Uh, as we go down, yep, time saving, money making, access to ever expanding library of connectors within our marketplace. And yeah, it's a really short website because this token literally only launched about seven, eight days ago. So we're very, very new to this. So their white paper is, again, full of so many technical terms and dressed up in a lot of mumbo jumbo, which, you know, you could get bored reading or might not understand. Um, so I'll try and put it in my own terms and explain as best as I can. Uh, it says here, Balance AI is an open source protocol that powers a decentralized blockchain based machine learning network. Uh, machine learning models are used collaboratively and are rewarded in native utility token BAI according to the value they offer to the overall system. It's a proof of stake blockchain. They're working on pure AI models using autonomous agents. And so what they spe uh, specialize in, on, in terms of AI models, is generative AI, uh, text to image modeling, fi and financial models such as hedging, yields optimization, etc. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard of these terms before, but uh, generative AI and text image models, you, you basically type in a command, say you want, I don't know, car driving in the rain, you can type it in and it can generate that kind of image or anything like that. And uh, financial models such as hedging or yields is more like financial tools, essentially, you know, on the charts and, and whatnot. Put it more simply, it is a decentralized open source protocol, which uses many computers connected through the internet to collaborate on machine learning tasks. Uh, machine learning models they work together and they get rewarded with the bai token um and obviously the more token because it's a proof of stake mechanism the more tokens you have the more you can participate in the network it's, it's a simple uh, model that's used throughout crypto so balanced ai have a multi-agent system as well and as i said earlier just think of agent as computers um it's basically loads of yeah computers they call agents these agents are like decision making characters that can interact with each other in a shared digital environment um oh sorry these agents might have different goals or be working on different things etc but they work together and sometimes against each other in order to achieve you know a common goal um an example would be a group of characters in a video game or like or like a team of robots working together in a factory so again you can see this is quite a complex explanation of what the multi-agent system is but Again, because I've already read it and I kind of wrote some notes down, essentially they just it, it, they just share information, work as a team to achieve individual and collective goals. Um, and it can be used in real world applications such as self-driving cars, robot factories, 
uh, video games, trading systems. I've already mentioned it in video games because there's a similar project called Delicium AGI that also focuses on AI models uh, catered more towards gaming. But um, yeah, we can see here the, the benefits of multiple agent systems. They act, interact in a common environment, each agent with its own senses, effectors and goals. Agents can coordinate actions to achieve goals. So, you know, rather than having just one computer working towards a task, imagine having 10, 20, 30, 50, hundreds of computers all working together for to, to achieve a common goal. You know, you're going to have more efficiency, uh, more trust because it's not just relying on one system. You've got, you know, many, many um, within this environment. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm hoping that that's coming across as easy to understand. I know, I know this can be quite a, a complex idea they have a pretty good example of what they one of the um use cases of bai here on their on their website so they go current trading marketplaces are suffering from various problems access to trading is limited it takes a lot of time to learn at beginners it's difficult to tell if the material is you know reliable whether you can trust it uh yeah trading brokers create illusion of unlimited profits um and so on and so forth i'm not going to read it all out but they have an, an interesting example here of their AI agent uh, model. So over here, this it's just a financial model they're talking about here. Uh, the assistant, so the person wakes up, they've got the uh, AI agent on their iPad. It says the assistant makes a technical analysis of the selected instrument. Then the user, then the user orders to sell it. Thanks to our network, the user has access to the entire spectrum of financial products in various systems. Another example here is uh, the assistant suggests to the user that in the evening it would like to analyze the last month of trading on the crypto exchanges. And then later on in the evening, the assistant analyzes the last, last month of the user's trading history. Uh, we can see the assistance avatar and all the necessary charts for the analysis so essentially it will just take i'm not sure if you guys are into to trading or a lot of financial analysis yourself but it would just make things so much more efficient more trustworthy because rather than trusting on you know human or just one computer's analysis we've got we're leveraging an entire network of ai agents increasing you know reliability scalability trustworthiness uh everything speed um so yeah, this is an interesting example of, of the use case of their financial model. Now, again, I don't want to go through the whole white paper because you guys can do that in your own time and it would just take too much up of this video. But again, one thing I want to point out is the actual uh, model itself of uh, BAI. They have AI nodes responsible for running AI models, hosting agents and providing connectivity. And then they also have validators, uh, validating blocks and grading the quality of value provided by AI nodes. This is pretty standard stuff in crypto. Uh, they have this thing called Agents VM, which stands for Virtual Machine. And I'll leave this up on the screen if you want to read this whole thing. Um, maybe you can process it yourself. But uh, in simple terms, what it is, it's a secure and efficient space where the AI agents can run their tasks. Um, it helps them connect to, to useful information, provides tools for developers to create and manage the AI agents, and basically just make sure everything runs smoothly in the in the digital world. You know, if there's any any bugs or anything that you know that's that's not aligned or not working correctly what these uh the agents virtual machine does is to smooth things out uh, is the best way i can put it uh now going on to the tokenomics of bai this is again a massive tick box um they're following very similar to bitcoin and bit tensor uh, there's a max supply of 21 million and a halving cycle every 10 and a half million blocks so every 12 seconds uh one ba bai uh, is emitted into the network there will be 64 halving events with the first occurring in 2027. So we're still three years away from the first halvening event. We can see here that 72% uh, of the total supply is reserved for validators, 10% for exchanges in, of which it hasn't actually been listed on yet. Only uh, Uniswap right now. 5% uh, for the team and advisors, which isn't too bad. Uh, there was a public sale at 8% and then there was a seed sale at 5%. Um, so yeah, if you're not familiar with Bitcoin, essentially a halvening, what it does is that there's less reward after each halving event for the uh, the validators or the miners or the stakers or whatever. So um, yeah, the BAI reward uh, must decrease over time to prevent all tokens from being distributed too soon. As we can see just from the example of Bitcoin, it's a successful model that has worked, worked in the past. You may have noticed that on the website and on the white paper, there's no mention of the team. <clears throat> so I was on the, uh, excuse me, I was on the Telegram and I was asking questions and the team has not been doxxed yet. They let me know that there are three developers one marketing um, specialist, one quantitative specialist, and an, a and an AI expert or AI experts on the team right now. Uh, again, they've not been doxxed, but uh, they said that they have worked with A-Star in the past. Um, A-Star's a, a crypto project, 
which has been around for a couple of years. So um, it's not the best that the the team hasn't been docked right now, but we're early on. Like I said, the project's only a week old. I'm sure they'll they'll reveal themselves at the appropriate time. So yeah, there's about two thousand people, I believe, in the Telegram and Discord combined. And if we go onto their X, we can see they've got about four thousand three hundred followers, and they do regularly update on their Twitter page, um, uh, providing updates to the community what they're working on, and they essentially post their roadmap in parts on. A combination of their Twitter and and their uh, Telegram and Discord. So their their actual, like, as we can see here, um, here's what's coming next. This is essentially a roadmap of sorts. They're just keeping the community updated on what's been going on. But um, it's it's not as comparable to you know projects that have a roadmap on their website or in their in their white paper. But again, like I said, the, the project's so new, we can't really compare it uh, in that sense. But uh, yeah, they do have a roadmap. They do have um, ideas for the future. We can see here that they're comparing it to another AI project, Olas. Similar but different. Um, I chose to compare it to BitTenser as well because that is just for me going to be the number one AI project in this coming bull cycle in the future. But um, yeah, you can draw comparisons of AI to similar AI projects. The the unique thing about Balance AI though is because we're so early to it, so new to it, you know, we have a lot of potential to to run up some some multiple x's on our investment so moving on to the actual price of balance ai today it is listed on coin gecko um it's not actually listed on coin market cap yet but on coin gecko we can see that the price is just above six dollars uh fully diluted valuation they have at around 18 million dollars and the supply they have right now is just under three million that's what's in circulation right now as we saw earlier though the total supply is 21 million dollars um I don't like to use CoinGecko. I don't know why, but I just don't like to use it. Um, and CoinGecko, actually, I think they have their actual date that the token got released on incorrect. Um, so yeah, CoinGecko have it on Jan 22nd. But yeah, if I go onto Dex Screener, um, we can see if we go on to just let's say the four hour chart. Apologies for my laptop being a bit slow. But um, yeah, it was actually yeah launched on the 19th of Jan, I think is when they, when they released their token. As we can see, yeah, just above $6 right now. Market cap of... Well, fdv of yeah 18 million dollars which um yeah we're early as you can see they did reach highs of eight dollars and it was actually low just about touching um three dollars but yeah the other day it went up to eight dollars currently we're sitting at six um any purchase right now you can expect some volatility because like i said the project's early more and more people are finding out about it um people that got in early will be selling people that got in new will be buying loads so we can't really go much off the the price history but it's got very good liquidity for for a project uh this early on you know doing up almost four million dollars in liquidity in the last 24 hours but yeah when it when we compare it to a project like BitTensor, which um like i said is going to be the what i believe is going to be the number one ai play this coming bull run BitTensor's has already flown off but there was a point i think end of november to like november october 2022 BitTensor was trading at around similar price to what uh ba is trading at now it was about ten dollars twenty dollars thirty dollars and i look at it, it's about 360 dollars which right now for bai to reach this price it was it's about 50 60 x uh, of the price of tau um if we just consider there's going to be projects in crypto that will be in the multiples of billions in ai okay ai is going to be the strongest narrative i believe or one of the strongest alongside gaming so there's going to be many projects that will be hitting that one billion dollar valuation in ai and if we assume that BAI can hit that $1 billion valuation. That's a, a 25, 30x of its price right now. So it's a pretty good return. And it's ticking quite a few boxes, which we will sum up in the coin scoring matrix at the end of the video. Um, it's also not on any exchanges really right now. I think if we go back onto CoinGecko, we can see where it's actually listed. Mentioned it earlier, but yeah, it's just on Uniswap right now. Um, so it's yet to be listed on a centralized exchange. But when that happens, again, you can expect the price to surge up because, you know, it opens up to a lot of new investors who probably aren't comfortable using something like Uniswap or, or a decentralized exchange. So Balance AI could be an interesting pick if you're not already positioned in an AI project. Obviously, it's a very high risk only being around for seven days and being such low market cap. Um, but if you feel like you missed the boat on, on BitTensor or something like Olas, this could be a, a high risk, high reward play. Um, even though I didn't mention it on the website, or in the white paper, but the team apparently been building on this project for uh, three years and is currently in the testnet phase. So that's how early we are. We're so early on this on this project. 
uh, apparently the mainnet is coming in a month and there's apparently some potential rebranding as well but the the fundamentals are still there the fundamentals are still very good it's a very interesting very unique ai project um so yeah it could be like i said a higher risk high reward play uh, let's just head over to the coin scoring matrix to really wrap this video up so does BAI, I'm just going to call it Bay, does Bay have um, innovative or excellent technology? I'd say it does. You know, it's focused on on machine learning. It's fully decentralized. It's got the, the multi-agent system. It's got the agent's uh, virtual machine system as well. So I'm going to give that a green. It is uh, innovative or excellent technology. It is a relevant narrative as well because it's fitting the bill right on with uh, artificial intelligence. Massive runner this upcoming bull cycle. Low market cap right now, up below $20 million. Again, for an AI project, it's very, very, very low. So, yep, that's also a green. Uh, good tokenomics. I, I, I'm a really big fan of these these tokenomics, this um, this uh, Bitcoin model tokenomics. You know, 21 million supply. We're, we've got about 3 million circulation right now. We've got the halving event in 2027. You know, it's proof of stake as well. So I think the tokenomics on this project are very good. Uh, experience or credible team, this is going to be the first red flag. Uh, obviously, like I said, when I was doing my, my research in the Telegram, there's about, you know, three, four developers. They've got the AI specialist, the marketing specialist, the quantitative specialist, and previously having worked with A-Star as well. But the fact that they haven't doxxed themselves, I can't really give them any credibility. Um, key partnerships, again, is a red, but this is a bit of a, because we're so early on, you know, they've only, the token got launched about eight days ago, so can't expect key partnerships in that time. Active community is a yellow, uh, simply because, again, we have to factor in the time scale. we're so early on, but they regularly update on Twitter, they speak regularly in the Discord and on the Telegram, so it's only a matter of time before this really starts to, you know, when it starts to get noticed sorry sorry guys bear with me i'm really not feeling too well when it starts to get noticed uh i'm sure the community will start to thrive uh shiny coin effect is a yes as well because it launched in this uh bear going on to bull cycle so it wasn't around the previous bull i don't believe it was fair launched i believe that the team have an allocation and there was a seed round as well um so that's a red unfortunately but uh, i do know that the team have a vesting period on their on their tokens and uh, promising roadmap again is a yellow because it, whilst they do have a roadmap and it does look promising for the updates they've got coming in the future, um, the fact that it's not explicit on their website or on their white paper kind of plays against them. But uh, yeah, that's the wrap up of Balance AI. Apologies again, guys, if my voice was off or if I made a few mistakes here and there, just been trying to get through the video. But um yeah, that's the wrap up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, again, this is not financial advice. I'm not saying whether I have or haven't invested in BAI. It's just a project or Bay. <laughs> it's just a project that came to my attention through my research, which, you know, it's an interesting one that can can do very well if it sticks to its its promises and, and delivers. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. It really motivates me to keep on going. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.